my first job was in 1999 as, as a corner coach at Florida International. So, you know, you, you get into the spot hoping that you can one day become a head coach. And uh, I'll be honest with you, it's been a quick road. You know, even though I've been a few places, Miami, being in Georgia, Arkansas, Kansas, you know, in Vancouver, obviously well worth the travels. And this is a heck of an opportunity to become the head coach here. It's hard to play for each other without having any accountability. It's hard to play for a team without having any accountability. So, I mean, I think culture is a big word, but just how about just playing for your teammate and just doing everything that a coach asks you to do correctly. The most important thing for me, I think guys want to be led. Our guys wanted to have a leader. They wanted to be led, and they just needed some direction. So I think the biggest thing that we had to overcome was meshing all these different personalities. And, you know, so far it's been great. But you know, at the end of the day, you got to be able to play for your teammate, the guy next to you, the guy in the foxhole. Can, will you play for that guy or not? You, you can't mention St. Mary's without mentioning Coach Nell and you know, Coach Utech and Coach Samara, those guys who had wonderful success. I know a little bit of the past, you know, there's been some struggles, but where I see it in the future is just hopefully getting back to those places. I mean, there's, there's three Vanier Cups around here, so they don't just give those things away. Uh, you know, there's some great teams and great players that have played for those teams, and if we can get it back just close, I think we're in good shape. But at the end of the day, just want to increase our support, increase the wins, and just increase the popularity of the, of the program. But nobody's going to go through a game and not make any mistakes. You're not going to go through a game where, you know, a team doesn't make a big play on you. So how do you respond after those things happen? And now that's kind of the things that we're stressing to our guys. Look, man, you're on the road. Bad things are going to happen. Heck, even at home, sometimes bad things are going to happen. So who's going to be the person that steps up to, to end that or Who's going to be, the, whether it's offense, defense, or special teams, to make that big play to help end the adversity? At the end of the day, I think it starts and ends with your quarterback. I mean, if you don't have a good quarterback, it's hard to be successful. You know, there have been some other times where that hasn't been the case, but the majority, you got to have a quarterback. And I think that, especially in the Canadian game, he's done he's done the right things. He's, he's, he's been a good teammate. Um, he, you know, he has a lot of the guys come out, and, and he's trying to not just be the quarterback, he's trying to be a quality teammate. And, and, and as far as his past, you know, he's been a, he was a highly recruited kid coming out of high school, had some ups and downs, but everybody on our team has had some ups and downs. Heck, I've had some ups and downs. It's just, what do you do after that adversity hits? And he's done a great job thus far. He's been a model teammate, a model citizen. And, uh, you know, right now he's been a captain of our first two games. So, you know, I can't ask for him not to be anybody else except himself. I remember back in December and January when I was up for the job and Coach Neil, he gave me some of the minor things that he thought I needed to know, but then the biggest thing he told me was, I want you to watch one of the games back in 2001 and 2002, and it was here at the stadium. And uh, there was about 10,000, 11,000 people at the game. You know, it was a huge, huge event. And at the end of the day, he goes, when St. Mary's is going well, it's the biggest ticket in town. And uh, when we can get it back to that, um, then, then I know we got something.